What's up guys, Samsung has recently published a kernel source code for the s family powered by its very own Exynos chipset. Well, digging through the code, the enterprising folks over at XD developers have found something very interesting. I mentioned of a 5G version of the Galaxy Note 10. This obviously shouldn't be surprising at all given that there's even a 5G SN coming. But still, it's nice to have a sort of information that Samsung plans on doing the same for the Note 10. Keep in mind though that this is just an assumption, which is based on a leak from a few months ago which revealed the code name of the Note 10 to be a DaVinci. The aforementioned S10 kernel source code mentioned a DaVinci 5G as you can see. So that's that. These lines of code determine which camera drivers the kernel should initialize. For reference, note that Beyond 0 is the Galaxy S10e, Beyond 1 is the Galaxy S10, while Beyond 2 is the Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Beyond X is the Galaxy S10 5G. Furthermore, another device code name has resurfaced in the source code, and that is LUS. This was once thought to be a prototype foldable phone, though it's not the Galaxy Fold because that one was codenamed Winner. Thus, LUS may be one of the other foldable smartphones the Korean company currently has in development. As for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, at this point we only know that it will feature 4 cameras on the rear and 6.66 inch display. More information should be coming in the future though. Expect more and more leaks and rumors as we get closer to its announcement. The Samsung Galaxy S10 series is off to a flying star. The lineup recently set pre-order records in the both US and the UK. It has also captured the attention of Chinese consumers, and according to industry sources, all of this will lead to some pretty impressive sale figures. By the end of June, Samsung's latest flagships are expected to generate a combined shipment total of 20 million units. Breaking this figure down, suppliers expect a hoping 10 million units to be shipped this month alone. The remaining 10 million units should then be spread across the April to June period. So yeah, that's it for today. Now what's your thoughts on this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and yeah. Smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more latest news and as always, I will catch you tomorrow in the next one. Peace out.